myself, even it's Peter Vitoe with your story behind the Sierra Boza. Mandla Masango, the Kaiser Chiefs winger, has had a fantastic season. If you look back in time, at the start of this particular season, there was absolutely no chance of him playing for Bafana Bafana, and Chiefs had in fact had even transfer listed him, and they were willing to let him go. And we all know the fairy tale, he's done really well, got into the Afghan squad, squad scored a wonder goal, and has been a regular and a, yeah. a top-class performer for Kaiser Chiefs this season. From a player who they've been prepared to let go, it's a player they now want to keep. The right, couple of questions though, and this is what the story behind the Sierra Borza is, is one, why has it taken them so long to uh, renegotiate a new contract with him? They've allowed a situation that he could go for free at the end of the season, or any other club could start negotiating with, with him right now. However, on the flip side, it could, you could argue, and Chiefs would probably argue, that their relationship with the players, that they basically already agreed terms, and it's just putting pen to paper, which is the same kind of thing with uh, Labisi. It's a bit of a dangerous game to play, but it shows the confidence that Chiefs have in their ability to sign the player. However, there is an outside chance that an overseas club could come in at the last minute, but we certainly don't see a, an Atlanta Pirates or a Sundowns nipping in and taking away from Kaiser Chiefs. However, Watch the space as usual.